Hi, I'm Gilbert, defensive backs coach of the Buffalo Bills. Hey, let's go. I basically got into coaching because I love teaching. I love teaching young men, not only about sports and football, but about life. Come on, guys. End on a great note. Friday, let's go. For me, it's coach the man and the player will come. Part of being a great player is not allowing the little things to creep in. He's big into motivation and inspiration and he believes wholeheartedly in, in improving the player off the field first, which is key to us winning all the field. Good! Get that handle up. Nice job. Nice job. The best thing about being an NFL coach for me has been the ability to mold and shape the direction of young men who have a great sphere of influence, not only on their generation, but on the next generation to come. Expect it easy, anticipate the hard, let's go! My son played here for five years, five great years. We really enjoyed his time with Jairus. Well, yes, I was coaching in Chicago when Jairus was here playing for the Bills. So twice a year, I would come to see Jairus play and went to a couple of the uh, games. So we had a great time. My wife and I traveled. My wife spent a lot of time here. So it's great to be back in Buffalo. We understand the type of fan base that's here. Gil is really a coach that's started off as a player in this league and a, and a quality player in this league for a number of years. And he certainly has the resume as a player and now as a coach that speaks to credibility in the meeting room, buy-in from the players, and he's a servant at the same time. Shuffle quick, nice short, quick shuffle. There's always a who you know situation. For me, I knew Leslie Frazier. So Coach Frazier, Coach McDermott, go way back to Philadelphia in their coaching career. They've established a great relationship. So it was through Coach Frazier's recommendation that I'm sure Coach McDermott was willing to hire me. Good! Good! When it was coaches, you get a feel for the body of work that the coach put on tape, put on film. And I'm just glad he's on board with us. Quick, man! Quicker! Jarris said, no way! Are you kidding me? It was great. It was great. He was excited. He was excited about it. Woo! Even better. But make sure you're detailed in understanding the why of why you're sacrificing your time. It is to build the next generation of men through using the platform of athletics. So those coaches out there, they're fathers. Some are grandfathers. So it's never too late to have an impact on the next generation. And I I just see a lot of times, a lot of older men, we just get discouraged and say, ah, nobody's listening to us anymore, our time has passed. No, I disagree with that. The time is now, the time is now to make an impact for the future. Move, go, move. What y'all trying to do? What I'm trying to accomplish every practice with the players is to take one thing out on the field that they want to get better at each day. Finish it all, right? Don't worry about anything else. Finish it all. Because a lot of times, players go out there who want to get better in everything, five or six different areas. That's too hard. Focus on one thing, get better at that. Then the next day, move on to something else. Give me some class. Come on, discipline. I'm in the fourth quarter of my life, close to it, if not in it. But that's when games you really want to lose in the fourth quarter. And I believe now is the time I can really have an impact on the next generation. Go, go, go. I'm excited about the playoff caliber coaches, the playoff caliber players, and the playoff caliber organization that I'm involved with right now.